internet video viewing world and welcome to an install video of the Dynatron Genius desktop CPU cooler model G950 and I'll be installing this into onto my gigabyte board and first thing I'm going to do is remove everything right down where everything is plugged into and remove the motherboard and remove the stock uh, CPU cooler and I'll install the the new one under there and I have an unboxing video of this cooler be sure to watch that and I'll have a review uh, video basically it's going to be a a comparison between this and the stock CPU cooler I'll have temperatures and all of that and stay tuned and I'll be removing the motherboard okay with the CPU cleaned off what I'm going to do is apply the Dynatron thermal compound So we're just going to put a little a little drop there and I'm going to grab a card and smooth it out a little bit. Okay so what I'm going to do is show you how to put these push pins onto the bracket. I'm using the LGA 775 bracket and basically you there's a little notch at the top there's a little notch at the top left there and I line those two up and I'm kind of going at an angle and pushing up in there and then Secure that, and then now, whoop, sorry about that, hit the camera. So now, what I'm going to do is, see there's two holes on the other side, I'm going to, there's two holes on this, one here, one here. Line those up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do one side at a time. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the tripod. All right, hold on. Okay, now you should be able to see what I'm seeing. And so I'm just going to put this bracket on here, line up the holes. And grab the second bracket. Actually, I'm going to put the screw on the screwdriver. Line up the holes. And secure it in place. And you haven't, if you haven't done so already, you will want to remove this piece of plastic 
that was covering the heat sink. You want to remove that at some point before you stick it on your motherboard or CPU, whatever you want to call it there. And there you go. The push pins with the bracket are secured to the heat sink. And the next thing to do is figure out what direction you want the airflow to go. The airflow flows towards the label there where it says Dynatron. Goes so basically from the bottom here and goes up. And so you could either have it blowing out the back or out the top. And let me see. I think I'm gonna have it blowing out the top. Maybe, make sure they line up first. There you go. And I'm gonna push the push pins in. power cable out of the way. Maybe. Oh yeah, I'll just go right there. Alright, and make sure they're all in. And as you can see on the back Where the other one is. Oh, right there, right there, right there, and right there. And so my airflow is going to go out towards the top, and it's going to plug it in here. Oh, here. Get it. Now there's two tabs, sort of right here at the edge, and then a little bit in right here. You know that's going to line up with the where the CPU fan goes. this cable underneath and there you are the Dynatron G950 CPU cooler installed <laughs>